Hi, it's Todd of Todd's Workshop here, and today we're going to talk a little bit about a bit of TV filming I did a few years ago called, for a show called Breaking Magic. That's a, a UK television show where basically we blow the lid on how magic tricks are done. And uh, as we all know, magic's real, so we couldn't give away all of the tricks. Um, but, you know, you help it along a little bit. So my background before doing all the reproduction work was uh, doing special effects and specialist engineering for TV shows. So, so basically, if, um, if a company needs something crazy making in a very short period of time or one that all the engineering companies go, no, it's not possible, they come to people like me. So uh, I've put jet engines into uh, speedboats. Um, I've made multi-barreled cannons, uh, hovercrafts, fan boats. Um, all manner of things, really. Uh, basically, whatever it is you want building. Um, giant nitrogen cannon, so I made an air gun with a 30 centimeter barrel, one foot barrel, uh, five yards long, four and a half meters long. Um, so it's stuff like that that I make. But then also I get involved in um, sort of other little engineering things like the Sword of Damocles. Now, the Sword of Damocles was a sword hung by a thread above a king's throne. So that's where the name came from. Uh, but in this one, we had a, an Albion Agincourt sword, which was demonstrated to be sharp and a real thing by having a presenter cutting up um, basketballs with it. Three, two, one. Yes, that was a real sword. It's then substituted out. Substituted out for this wooden one, which still weighs about 250 grams, half a pound. Um, that's lifted eight or nine meters in the air. And then it's dropped, and it's dropped directly over the face of a presenter. And the sword comes down, drops about eight or nine metres, straight down. Then we shoot a basketball at the sword. And just before it hits the presenter's face, maybe a metre, metre and a half above, the sword is knocked out of the way by the basketball, presenter saved, everybody's happy. Now, intuitively, you think that's actually really difficult on timings. Um, and that's where the magic is, because actually it's not magic, it's physics. It was a really simple trick. And it's often called the, hunt, uh, the monkey and the hunter trick. So look that up on Wikipedia if you want a full explanation. But if you have the sword hanging there and you drop it, it's subject to gravity. It falls. If you shoot a basketball at it, the basketball has forward movement. We know that, obviously. But also it's still subject to gravity, so it also falls. So if you point directly the basketball launcher at the sword. It doesn't matter if you shoot it really fast, it'll hit higher sooner uh, after you've dropped it. If you shoot the basketball really slow, it will come down and it will hit lower. And that's of course what we wanted. So we shot it slower basically. And that's where the testing comes really, to, to work out how close you can get it to the presenter's face that everybody's comfortable with it. Um, <clears throat> And the reason is, the reason the two intersect is that is falling under gravity, the ball is falling under gravity, so the two things will come down and meet. Two, one. Now! It's just physics. Um, but it did make for a very, very dramatic uh, trick, it must be said. And. Um, that presenter was just unbelievably brave to do that job. So uh, thank you very much. So that is Breaking Magic, the Sword of Damocles trick. Thank you.